on to our other top story tonight. Kern County Fire announcing the cause of the massively destructive and deadly Erskine Fire. 23 ABC's Laura Acevedo was at today's press conference and joins us now with more. Laura. Brandon, Chief Brian Marshall says the fire was started by a private power line that rubbed against a tree. This afternoon, it is still unclear if the owner of that power line will be facing any consequences in the fire that killed two people and caused $23 million in damages. Almost six months to the date after the Erskine fire started. It was hot, it was dry, and it was very windy, and the fire exploded. An official cause. An electrical line that was in a tree that over time the insulation was wore down as the line rubbed on the tree, and a catastrophic electrical arc occurred that afternoon. Chief Marshall says the electrical line was a private line on private property. This is not a major power line such as from Southern Cal Edison or PG&E. That power line dropped hot molten material on the grass, sparking the fire. The Erskine fire over a period of two weeks did devastation never before seen in Kern County. The address of the fire, 3200 Range Road, in Lake Isabella. That's registered to a facility operated by the Kern River Archers. In a press release sent to 23 ABC News today, the law firm who represents that facility said their hearts go out to the families of the Kern River Valley. They say they're also cooperating with the investigation. The Erskine fire would go on to claim the lives of two people and completely destroy 280 structures, damaging hundreds of others. Becoming the most destructive wildfire in Kern County history, History and one of the most destructive in California's history. Kern County Fire is now turning the investigation over to the Bureau of Land Management. It will be up to them to decide what action, if any, they will take against the property owner of that power line. We're reviewing uh, the report, you know, obviously it's several hundred pages long, um, and so our team is, 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 is doing that uh, as we speak. Chief Marshall said rebuilding efforts still continue. At the start of next year, 27 families will be receiving new homes. Now, the Bureau of Land Management said they will not be releasing the name of that property owner at this time. It will be released at a later date. And they also said it will be about a month before they decide whether or not that person will be facing any consequences. Reporting live from Kern County Fire Headquarters, Laura Acevedo, 23 ABC.